Hey guys, welcome to a new exciting edition of a uh, Sony Vegas tutorial. Actually, it's not very exciting, but it has a long, complicated word called rotoscoping. Spell that. Actually, it's pretty easy to spell. Anyway, let's bring in a clip here. Let's open our event pan slash crop uh, mask checkbox. If you don't have your masking checkbox, it's because you have Sony Vegas Movie Studio or Platinum. If you did not uh, get Sony Vegas Pro, you won't have this. So, mask, uh, grab our anchor creation tool, go on our first keyframe, uh, look around for this, uh, rotoscoping is the, basically the process of doing this frame by frame, but, uh, necessarily right now, since I have a limited amount of time, I'm not gonna do that, but, uh, I'm gonna show you some cool tips, so, uh, anchor creation tool, uh, masking checkbox up, ready to go, orange soda bottle, gonna outline it. So uh, we're gonna mask this out. That's a terrible mask, let's try that again. Sometimes you just gotta tinker with these things. Because you're never gonna get them perfect in Vegas. This program isn't designed necessarily to uh, mask things, so uh... But it's pretty good nonetheless. I do want to say. Then we got to trace around my finger because we don't want that in the picture. And once we complete it, finally. Come on. Oh, this is tough. There we go. We got it. Okay, uh, we can see some error down there. Uh, we might want to fix that with your normal e editing tool, which is, uh, up there. You don't want to move the entire thing, though, so watch out for that. So right-click, deselect all will, uh, enable you to move your points, which is what I'm doing right now. And that's basically just filling in some uh, gaps there. You can see it's a little off uh, the masking thing compared to the actual video down there if you see it so uh, that's why I don't like this program for masking. It's It really isn't working out. But that's okay because we can do something. We can go to feather type both but wait why would I click both because there's nothing else here. I know what we can do. We can bring in another copy of our video or better yet we could copy this paste it below get rid of the masking and there we go now we have a video with just the masking data on top anyhow this is the keyframe we're working with just so we can see what we're doing let's go to video effects and add a color balance of bright red and you can see now that it turned the entire thing red which isn't what we want truth to be told we just want it like that but we were just trying to change the liquid color right oh no so let's uh... grab our normal edit tool and just what we can do is uh... we can delete right click delete anchor right click delete anchor uh... you don't want to select everything so right click delete anchor right click delete anchor and that's an anchor are these points obviously i mean you should have known that at least come on right click deselect all so we can move points individually or anchors i'm just calling them points Don't want to mess this up too bad though. So let's right click, delete, anchor. And there we go. Now it's just around the liquid. So that's pretty cool. So then let's go to feather type, both, and adjust the slider to our liking. 
And what's that? what that's going to do is just give it a little glow, I guess, and make it look kind of cool. So now look at the preview window. This is what we ended up with. So uh, let me show you the before, which would be this, and then the after. So before, after, before, after. And then we can actively change the color of this liquid. So um, if you want to watch down there right now, so just look down there right now, uh, I can change the color of the liquid to any color as I please. Uh, yellow, I could do a, a weird blue color, you know, back to orange. So anything I, I want to do, I can do. And then I can change the type, too. Now, um, the problem with this is, it's going to stay in that spot the entire time, even when this orange soda is moving around. And for that, you would have to um, do frame-by-frame frame editing, like all the way through. As you can see how my mask, or the orange soda bottle is moving, I would have to mask that every single frame, or almost every frame. You might be able to skip a couple in there, but... Uh, you, that's what you would need to do. I'm not going to sit here and do that. That would be extremely boring. I'm just showing you what you can do once you rotoscope all of it, which means edit it frame by frame. You can add uh, pretty much every effect. You'll know if you try to add the newspaper effect, it'll delete the layer below it, so that's kind of stupid. I don't even know why it does that. But So newspaper doesn't really work. We could add a gradient map effect, a night vision effect on our bottle, bottle of night vision. That'd be pretty cool. I'm just trying to be creative. You can blur it out, which makes sense, because that's how you would blur out faces. Uh, you would rotoscope the face, and it's a lot easier, because faces have um, a less definite shape. It's pretty much just a circle, if you will. But obviously, color correcting here would make it look... Uh, the coolest. I'm just experimenting here uh, on what I can do. I could desaturate it and make it like black and white liquid. And you always just want to mess with your uh, feathering thing. So if we add uh, really quickly here, add something, we'll just add this red again, uh, tone it down a little bit. And then we go back to our masking thing and go to our feather. We can adjust that uh, uh, to what we want. Because if we don't feather it, it's going to look terrible, i got to tell you. But you can always just feather it in or out, uh, which will obviously, you know, feather it in or out. Out doesn't look very good. In looks a little better, but it depends on what you're doing. So, yeah, uh, you might want to work on that feather there. Uh, this is a rotoscoping video, despite all the not rotoscoping, but remember, frame-by-frame frame editing is all it is. Um, I'm Marty Schindler, and have you had your orange soda today?